Holy surf coasters, Batman. It's done. Welcome to a very busy President's Day weekend at SeaWorld. While we're waiting in line to get in, you can see surf coaster up close here. This ride should be open within the next month or so. We got people on stilts. Oh my God, Jerry Rivera's here today. The Seven Seas event is going on. And on top of Seven Seas, Mardi Gras also happening. It's like SeaWorld saying, I heard you like food festivals. So we got you a food festival inside your food festival. First stop as usual. Here they come. Yeah, you see them in another place. Personal devices, such as your cell phones behind all the curtains, the corners, the parking spots on top of the rocks. And please do not bang, nod, or tap on the glass windows around the exhibit. Thank you so much. Thank you so much again for joining me here at the Garden. Who are they Garden fighting? Garden. Oh my. What? These are the concerts this year at the Seven Seas Food Festival. The Bee Gees and Beatles, just miss them. Collective Soul was yesterday. Luda and Joey Fatona friends, and I believe that includes Chris Kirkpatrick. Time to get a lanyard so we can do a little sampling. There you go, 15 items, 85 bucks. And a pass member exclusive, you get an extra three punches. All right, so we've got 18 punches. And for being pass holders, we also get some free silverware. Feels like plastic. Pretty cool. You would think it would be bamboo? I, th I would think. When you said plastic silverware, I was like, why? Is it's in the environmental park. So while the park opens at nine today, the food booths, they don't open until 11.30. All right, while we wait for the food to open up, we'll take a meandering in the shark encounter. Now the last time that we were here, if you guys usually watch the videos, this is all, or was, a fenced in area with birds. So they've kind of redone this whole area here in the last couple of months. Looks really tranquil. I would like to have this in my backyard. Sharks. Wow. Yeah, it's like Aquaman has called them. Just keep swimming. Wow, crazy. I got a lionfish down there. Oh, look at this guy's face. He's mean mugging. That's a pajama shark. Ooh. Let sleeping sharks lay. Oh, his face is right up his butt. All these sharks just chilling in here now. Sand shark, tiger shark. <laughs> Look at this guy. He looks so happy. Picked up my freebie in the pass holder lounge. Also got my free cup of soda. Ice. So by the time that we left the pass holder lounge, the machine only had filtered water and the garbage from yesterday was overflowing in the basket. But we're back to wandering, still waiting for food booths to open. Got a carousel over here, sunny day carousel, Sesame Street. Look at these designs. They're so awesome. The one horse is looking right here. Can you tell me how to get how to get to Sesame Street. Oh! 
all the childhood feels. It's Wasa. Let's call for Oscar. Hey, you! Scram! <laughs> no! Come out and play! Why don't you go scram to the booty truck and annoy Cookie Monster and Donger instead, huh? Who's knocking on my gas? Oh. You're right, Ruffy. It does sound like a herd of elephants out there. Sesame Street has seen better days here. Let's go in the Hoopers. It's Mr. Hooper. I love trash. Oh, these are cute little figures. The Count. They're like little Smurfs. They have a Snuffy! Yes. Fake Squishmallows. Elmo! Oh, you can make your own cup here. Refillable. You know, all these kinds of things that you could put on Cookie Monster and design them. We've reached the Mardi Gras section. It's expensive. It's right outside of Sesame Street land. At 12.30, this area should be filled with some performers. There he goes. some air. I almost forgot about these guys. Whoa. It's making the noise. to buy a freestyle cup to refill through the entire day. Place is packed, but not one single employee working to be able to buy the cup. All right, first food of the day. I'm gonna get some street corn. That's what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> this is it. It looks kind of similar to the picture, except it's like this way instead of this way. <laughs> Messy, yeah, so. this is a real challenge. I thought it was street corn in a cup, but it's not. It's on the cob. So I'm just and gonna do holy this. cow. I need those little corn holders. Yeah. It is good. This is not mustache or beard friendly. It's good, but it's got way too much stuff on it. Very sweet corn, but you normally would want to be able to taste some of that spice, the paprika. You don't really get it. The corn is very Water? sweet, though. This tiny little thing is the sample size for the hurricane. So keep that in mind, like when you think you're getting a great deal for your pass, $85 for 15 samples. I mean, this is the size of the sample you're getting. It's like a syringe full of frozen juice. That's heavy on the passion juice, passion fruit. So again, not gonna beat a dead horse, but this 
when you break down the value, it's worth $5.66. While Mary's filling up her cup, someone lost their tooth thing here. Looks like a teeth whitening thing or a retainer. Oh, here's a look at the apple strudel they have. Look at this. We could have also gotten a pretzel on a stick, but they were out of cinnamon sugar and the booth just opened. In fairness, maybe 20 minutes ago. This is the bratwurst. That's uh, beer cheese, supposedly, although beer cheese is usually a little bit more tan. That looks a little bit more like cheese whiz. I feel like it might be back in Pat's or Gino's in Philly. So this does seem like a much better value than the Hurricane. Keep in mind, each item is like 566 without the pass holder lanyard. That's a regular lanyard price. This is so hard to eat. It's pretty good. It, it does have a beer cheese taste. I mean, not that they're lying to you, but... It is very cheese whizzy. <laughs> yeah, it is. And very messy. Very messy. <laughs> At the Irish market, we've got corned beef hash, Guinness beef stew, and bread pudding. We're gonna go beef stew. This is the beef stew. Perfect stick to your ribs meal when it's nice and chilly outside. <laughs> Not when it's 80 <laughs> plus degrees. So the weird thing to me is that you would expect it to be full of like potatoes and carrots, but they actually have filled it up with meat. I'm not gonna lie, it is really good. It's delicious. Almost as good as Dinty Moore. I kid. For real though, this would be top of the list so far. This is one of the best items I think I've ever had at one of these food festivals. I think a parade is gonna start. Something's happening! A better look at the surf coaster coming very very soon i can't wait to ride this coaster oh look at the size of this guy they're all on the patrol for food Sea World Rescue Center. Oh, the huge manatee. Oh, look at a baby. This guy is huge. Welcome to the rescue center. Wow. You just sit down in here and look at these guys all day. 
like going to Blue Spring State Park, but just having a bench and being able to see under the water. So we'll see for the knock that SeaWorld gets, they rehab these manatees and then they release them back into Blue Spring State Park, the park that we go to every time that it's cold outside and there's hundreds of manatees seeking refuge. And they do good, but they do good work getting these guys back up and running. Greetings from the bottom of the world. It's hot. All of the freestyle machines are out of order. Look at that. Basking in the sun. Oh, I'm over here. Boss that one right off the rock. That kid is throwing food to them. Closing in on two o'clock, the lines for food have started to really grow. Time to get the lamb ribs and the Polynesian summer. I kind of feel bad because SeaWorld doesn't even get a chance to really win here because everything is so dirty and gringy and grimy when it comes to seating areas and food and where they expect you to consume food. But they're seemingly so short-staffed and it's so overly populated here that they just never would be able to keep up. And people talk about eating our garbage cans at Disney for the food festivals and stuff, but this takes the cake. It's gross. With the amount of people that line up for everything and looking to try to consume things and enjoy stuff, you're just never in a position to win. We've got lamb ribs. Polynesian summer, piece of pineapple floating. These look delicious though. Mm. I just want to look at it all day. <laughs> Not a lot of alcohol. The ribs are really good. The sesame seeds stick out. Very salty. It's like a salt lake. Holy cow. I was good. Funny thing is, like, nobody's got any hair nets or anything on here. See everybody preparing the food and touching and everything. Gloves. No hair nets. And I say that because we had a nice piece of hair in our ribs. Okay. Alright, we got rum punch, ropa vieja, and a pineapple cake. And the verdict. Mm. It's crazy. It's served on these tostones. One of my favorite snack items for some tostones with some salt on them, of course. The day is only getting better here with the world's greatest band of all time. Grab a girl everywhere. All right, let's get into this pineapple cake. Wow, that is awesome. And your thoughts? The cream is awesome. Next up. Italy, meatballs, arancini, burrata and tomato, and cannolis. Oh, we choose cupcakes too. 
All right, so the SeaWorld computers are down, at least for Italy. And they're out of meatballs. And they're out of the bruschetta, or whatever it is. Burrata, bruschetta, <laughs> tomato, tomato. Tomato and cheese. They've got uh, arancini and cannolis. That's the inside of the arancini. The arancini is steaming hot, like. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to feel my tongue for days, but it is delicious. And I know I said this last year, I'm going to say it again. The sauce that accompanies the food here is really good. I like it. It's got a little hint of sweetness. It is delicious. It is not like the disgusting pizza fry sauce. Cannoli is okay. It's basically run-of-the-mill cannoli. Pineapple cake was much better. All right, Asian market. We're going dumplings, ice cream. Tokyo Rose. Vegetable dumpling, ice cream, and that's the drink. The dumpling's okay. Really nothing to write home about. I'd put it lower on the scale of things that we've had today. Mmm. The ice cream is delicious. How is the drink? It actually is really good. Yeah? I like sake. All right, see where we're getting out of here. Well, it reached about 85 today, which is kind of the breaking point with the humidity here of when it's starting to get kind of warm. There's no happy medium here. Especially it's either too when, cold or too hot. It was 59 when we left. I had jeans on. Like, yeah, no. But it was a good day at SeaWorld. SeaWorld is really hit and miss. And we've done this, uh, or said this, in videos that are not hollow screen related. Um, the cleanliness of the park, the operations of the park, um, things you know to, to that nature really leave a lot to be desired and mm -hmm. it's not through the fault of the people that are working here I put that on the folks that run management and try to staff the parks etc I think it's a very tough uh, I would say a tough economy for the, the people that work at theme parks these days because I know Universal just increased their starting salary for staff to $17 an hour and I'm not sure what SeaWorld's paying but they need more bodies. Um, yeah, you do. have these food festivals, and by the way, again, I'll say it forever. Bush Gardens in Tampa and SeaWorld uh, oh, in Orlando, the top. they have the best quality of food and quantity of food when it comes to the food festivals. They are the best. And then I would say Epcot is a notch below them and uh, trailing much further behind, I think, is it's Universal. universal. Um, but, you know, these food festivals are money makers for the parks. Mm -hmm. um, it, they need more people to uh, work the stands and get people to, you know, through the... Cycle through. The, yeah, the things quicker, and they need uh, more seating and places for people to eat because there's not enough places to actually uh, rest or relax. This is President's Day weekend. The, the crowds didn't feel any different than it normally does at the park. Yeah, um, you know, it was for a little busy. Day. But... Uh, Overall, good day. Uh, we didn't get on any rides today, and we even uh, cashed in like and got our free quick queue for the day, and we just didn't even use it. So we'll come back and ride rides at another point. And mm -hmm. Today was just about trying all of the food items, and uh, they were good. Not all of them, because yeah. I'm about to die right yeah, now. It was, a, <laughs> it was a good day. Good day walking around, and animals, and sea life. It was really cool. So we're getting out of here. Thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great day. See you guys. Bye.